Alright, so I just wanted to update you guys and let you guys know that there is not going to be a Gold Species video for this week. The reason I'm doing this video is simply because I saw a post the other day on Facebook that really got to me. And it was this. The Western Black Rhino of Africa has officially been declared extinct. Now, probably asking, well, okay, what does that mean? It, well, it means that we lost a amazing creature. Like, it's gone. There's no bringing it back. All we have left is bones and pictures and videos that people have taken. That's it. There are no more left. And there are two more species of rhino, along with a lot of others, but there are two main ones that are considered possibly and probably extinct. Now, you're probably asking, how did this happen? Well, mainly poachers. Um, poachers who go to Africa and kill these rhinos just for their horns. A lot like how a lot of people will kill elephants just for their tusk. Um, some did it just for sport, some sell the horns for whatever reason, I'm not really sure. All I know uh, is that it's disgusting. The reason why I'm posting this video about this is because, honestly, what we, I mean, this is what we do. We, we try to get the word out about this type of stuff to raise awareness so it doesn't continue to happen. See, what we do here, like, Hardcore Wild is not just a series of videos that we're going to be posting here on YouTube. It's a group of people, not just me, Scott, and my brothers in Tennessee, and his girlfriend, not just us, but you guys. You guys, once you subscribe, you are you're part of our group, our organization, if you will. That that's mission is to raise awareness towards wildlife conservation and to stop the meaningless killings of these species. Now, do I think that this one video is going to really make a huge dramatic impact on that? Honestly, no. I don't, but I personally would feel like I was doing the species, any species that's endangered or going to become endangered, because I guarantee you there will be more and there will be a lot more that will soon become extinct. I can guarantee you that. It's just the way it's going with poachers and everything else like that. But if I didn't do this video and put forth my effort. I would feel like I, I was doing an injustice. I wasn't doing my part. I wasn't doing what we're set out to do because we're not just making videos to entertain you all. That's part of what we're doing is making entertaining videos for you all. But the real mission and the real message behind it is conservation. We've got to protect these animals. And to clarify something, some of you guys have asked me, well, Jordan, why do you guys just do videos on common species? And, like, I mean, we see them all the time. What's the point? We need to be focusing on the endangered ones. Listen, we have a, well, not we, but there are a lot of people that are already focused on the endangered species and the spe species that are on the brink of extinction. There are a lot of people focusing on that. Hardly anybody's focusing on the species that we have right here, right now, flourishing. Alright, let me put it to you this way. The Western Black Rhino of Africa, at one point in time, was flourishing. It was as common to see down in Africa as the squirrels in your backyard. And now, it's extinct. There are no more. It can happen to any species at any time. We can really try to prevent this from happening to a species that's common right now. Because every single one of the species that was e that's either extinct or on the verge of extinction or just got put on the endangered species list was 
flourishing at one point in time. And because it was flourishing, it was so common, nobody really thought to look twice at it. When people came in behind their backs and was killing them, they're like, oh, okay, that's population control. That population control is different. If you have a species that overpopulates, that can also damage the ecosystem. Population is, is very important. Very important. Don't get me wrong on that. It is to a point. It's important. When you cross that line, that's when you get species that are endangered and now it's extinct. I mean, I, I really want you guys, seriously, and, and not for views, not to get my name out there or anything like that. I want you guys to do whatever you can to get this video out there because that's what we're about is raising awareness so post it on your Facebook post it on your Twitter do whatever you like favorite the video that helps it get up there not for my benefit don't do it for me guys do it for for these for these species that's our purpose that's our reason for doing it that can be your part in our mission because we're all in this together you guys aren't just fans you're part of this you're as much part of this hardcore wild thing as we are you really are I mean I, it's not gonna make that big of a difference if any difference at all in what's going on right now but it's a simple part of the obligation that we have I mean because face it we're pretty much like intruders to these species we come in we set up shop and we kill them when they were here first I have two kids and I want them one day to be able to grow up and really appreciate and see the wildlife that we have here today right now and it can be done we just gotta put forth the effort. And that's what we're really trying to do with this thing. It's not just throwing videos on YouTube to get views and get big. No, that's not what we're doing at all. And you guys have played a major part in that so far. You really, really have. I just wanna let you guys know um, that update as far as that goes, that the, the species was extinct. Uh, it sucks, it really does. Um, and, and the sad thing about it is, is it's gonna continue um, but like I said, you know, we just got to do our part and get the word out there um, to really wait, raise awareness as much as we can about this. Because, you know, we might not be able to stop it completely, but if we can put a, bit, a big enough dent in it, then we, we, we've completed what we came here to do. Really. Change people's perspective on wildlife. But sorry there's no goal speed that, that's my rant <laughs> for the day that's my rant sorry if I bored you all hopefully I didn't but that's my rant for the day um, give you guys a little update on some other things I'm sorry it's such a long video is bad I just got a lot of got to get out and uh, let you guys know about um, let you all know a little bit about the, the thing that I hinted at in the last goal species video the uh, environmental group type thing that I'm involved with with Scott uh, and his girlfriend Critley. Um, what that is is it's called Pride Club um, and it's down there at the college in Somerset and what it is really it's, it's more of an organized version of kind of what we're trying to do in a sense and it's crazy how it all blends together it's working out really awesome. Um, I got to go down there uh, Wednesday for recruiting. Uh, get more people involved with it, which I'll be posting videos about that. Also, the next Goal Beasties video, you guys are going to love. And I'm just going to leave it at that. It's going to be awesome. So just be prepared for that. Um, but yeah, that's. I, I'm still kind of fuzzy on exactly what all the Pride Club thing is. Because Scott has explained it to me, but I... Have a little bit of a problem paying attention. I'm not gonna lie, it's true. He'll tell you that himself when you see him in the video. You guys get to meet Scott. 
that's pretty exciting, I think. I know some of y'all are excited. Even though you're not acting like it right now, I know you are. I know you are. We'll be posting videos about that. Scott will explain more about exactly what it is because he knows a lot more um, about what it is. So it's gonna it's gonna be good. It's gonna be real organized. They focus a lot on uh, recycling and uh, just taking care of the environment. Um, a lot of stuff that links in directly with wildlife conservation. So it's definitely a huge opportunity for both me and Scott in the fields that we're trying to get into. Um, and it, it's going to be really, really awesome. And I'm glad that I get to bring you guys along for the ride. Uh, definitely pumped up about that. And I, I, I'm just kind of babbling right now. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this video. Sorry again. No ghost species. But I'll make it to y'all. Make it up to you all next time next week hopefully next week a video will be up next week just so you know whether it's gold species or about the pride club i'm not sure yet we're still working that out but it'll be one of the two i can guarantee you that next sunday there will be a video so don't worry you guys have an awesome week and i will see you on sunday